All right, guys, next up, I'm going to show you how to trade players outside of the game with the Redditor. Now, contrary to popular belief, the team ID that shows up in the uh, players tab, which is right here, team ID, has no bearing on what team the player is actually on or not in the game. Now, what that means, this team ID uh, controls the logo behind the player, um, and also what uniform they wear while they're in blacktop mode. That's it. To actually trade players and edit players, you need to be able to edit the Teams tab, which in the Redditor requires you to have a paid license for the Teams tab. And obviously, if you're going to edit something other than the roster file, you're going to need to have the license for the My Career or the Association file as well. So, starting, let's just do a quick trade. I mean, why not? So, you go to the Teams tab. You go over to the right and take a look at the rotations right next to player number. So this is these are all the players that are on each team. This uh, Ross and then our number or starting uh, point guard or whatnot. Uh, maximum of 15 in game, but you can have tw up to 20 in the redditor. Um, and if you change the number of players on a team, like if you do a two for one trade, make sure you also update the player number so that there's an, the correct amount of. Uh, number so I mean if I take the Celtics down to 12 players I need to make sure this is 12 and these last two are negative ones a little stuff like that but let's do a basic trade let's trade Drew Holiday for Kemba Walker Drew Holiday is ID number 0 and Kemba Walker is ID 15 so go over to the teams tab and they're the starting point guards that's why I chose them so all I do is type in 15 0 that's it <coughs> for added realism, go into the Players tab, find that uh, Team ID that I just passed, and change it to 1 and to 0 for these two players. That is it. These two players are completely done and changed um, onto the different team. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated when you're doing two-for-ones and everything trying to find out which player is which with the IDs. Again, this is something that's made easier with the My Friend panel, which is another additional add-on that costs money, um, to go ahead and go to the roster. And then here, you can just have a list to change who's on what team. So if I want to add uh, Peja to the Grizzlies, that's all I have to do. So now he's the point guard for the Grizzlies. <laughs> But I mean, it's basically it's it's all in the teams tab, and you got to edit the ID that shows up under under the rotations. That is how you uh, change the player. Now there's uh, minutes assigned that'll be different. There are player roles that'll be different uh, based on how you do this. So it's always good to go into the game and uh, reset the rotation, have the computer manually adjust the rotation, or do it yourself um, and assign player roles as needed. But do that in game just because it's simpler, and the game automatically balances it out. That's pretty much it. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Just remember that this is what controls what players on a team. If I want Drew Holiday to be the starting point guard for every NBA team, that's it. He is now duplicated on every single team. And the starting point guard for them at that. That's all there is to it. So I hope you learned something. I hope this is good enough for you. If you need help with it, if you need more explanation, hit me up in the comments below. Check out the all tutorials link in the description for all the tutorials with the Redditor and everything else. Hope this helped. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.